Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. Greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. Right, so before we get into the video, let's quickly define what recursion is. Basically, recursion is where we call a subroutine inside the definition of the subroutine. Basically, we call a subroutine inside the subroutine. Basically, subroutineception. And you can replace the word subroutine with procedure, function, method, whichever one's relevant. So, now you might be wondering, okay, Max, so why were you saying greetings multiple times at the start of the video? Well, for those who don't know what recursion is yet, that was a really bad joke. I strongly advise you Google recursion and you'll see what I'm on about. But anyway, we have got an algorithm here for this bad joke I tried to make and just realized if you're watching this video, you probably don't know what recursion is, so you're not going to get it. But you will understand this dad's joke once I've explained it to you. And if you don't get the joke, either you have no sense of humor, I'm not funny, or you don't understand recursion. It's probably the I'm not funny one, but let's put that aside. So here's an algorithm. It's a method, subroutine, whatever you want to call it, called greetings. When this is called, I say greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. Then we have an if statement. If the bad joke isn't dead, we call greetings again. If the joke is dead, we stop torturing people with bad jokes. Basically, I stop saying greetings. And where we put call greetings, notice we are calling the subroutine greetings inside the subroutine greetings. So when we call greetings, I'm going to then go in again and say, greetings, it is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. If the joke isn't dead, we say that again. If it's, um, if it is dead, then I'm going to stop saying greetings and spare you of really bad jokes. Now... It's very subjective if a joke is dead or not, but we're going to reproduce this algorithm in Java to show what recursion is with a Java example. Um, we're gonna just say if I say it more than three times then the joke is dead, so basically once I say it three times, I'm going to stop like I did at the beginning of the video. But the life cycle of a joke does depend heavily on each person as it's a very subjective thing. Obviously, you're all going to find it funny forever, because that's me, I'm, I'm a funny guy. Anyway, let's get into um, writing some code for it. So, um, firstly, we're going to do public static void greetings, and we're going to have an integer called i. i is going to store how many times we said greetings. And it's also going to be um, our counter variable, so we can put in any number to start with, and we can use this to dictate how many times you say greetings. For instance, if we were to only put in a one, we'd say greetings twice. If we were to put in a zero, we'd say it three times. If we were to put in a two, we'd say it once. Any number that's three or higher will result in no greetings being said. And if we put in a negative number, we're gonna say greetings a lot more. So inside here, we wanna do if i is less than three, System dot out dot print line greetings. It is Max O Diddly here, and today I am here with a video on recursion. That's not even how you spell recursion. Sorry about that. And then we do. Greetings, i plus one. And down here, we put greetings z zero, because we want to say greetings three times. So I'm gonna quickly run the code. And as you can see, we say greetings three times, just like with the intro. So I'm gonna quickly go through again what's actually going on here. So basically, we call the greetings method for the first time. We pass in the value of zero. So I will take the value of zero. I is less than three. So we're gonna say greetings. Then we're gonna call the greetings method again. But this time, we're gonna do whatever I is, then we're gonna plus one. So currently I is zero, so what's zero plus one? That's clearly one. 
So we call this again. This time i is going to be 1 because we added 1 to 0 before. Then we're going to do, is 1 less than 3? Of course 1's less than 3. So we're going to say greetings again. Then we're going to pass in whatever 1 is a plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so we call the gre greetings method again. This time i takes the value of 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2. Very quick maths right there. 2 is less than 3, so we say greetings. Now we got 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3. i takes the value of 3. Up 3 is not less than 3, therefore we don't execute this and there's no more code in the method, so the method has finished running. That is what's going on here. So guys, thanks for being a great audience. Hopefully you found this uh, recursion video useful in quickly explaining recursion and giving you some pseudocode and a Java example of how you could implement it. There are some great things you can do with this, such as quick sorting, Fibonacci, and many other mathematical and programming nerdy stuff. So, do you finally get the joke I was making at the start? I thought so. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience, and we'll see you next time.